taking off is Donnie Kalenbeck. Everything's working good. So we should have a time for Taylor Hagar very soon. Looks like a 352.44. Sorry, we don't have a time for him quite yet. My apologize. So there's Donnie Kalenbeck on screen doing good. And we got a, a special guest that just showed up, Dawson Allington. How's it going, buddy? Uh, it's going pretty good. I mean, it could be warmer. I'd take that. It's on, uh, what, 47 degrees? You guys are up here in the Nitto trailer, so you got it made. It's, it's very nice in the Nitto lounge where we're sitting. Uh, you've been racing in this 46 Spider... 4600 spider track stock class for quite a while but it, you uh switched your number and crammed into a 4500 class and uh you got some news for us don't you buddy So you're in the old 4510 of Matt Howell. That's awesome. So are you uh, kind of coming under the wing of the Tribe 16 guys? every bolt right now, making sure that, that uh, nothing is loose, uh, the motor mount did get loose, and we are not sure about our O2 sensor, if that is working properly, but we kind of have a contingency plan for that. Uh, UTVs are out already, but all the big cars are getting ready to go at 10. And yeah, so yesterday... We pre-ran and uh, truck did great, lap A. Oh, that's a lot better. That generator was super loud. Um, lap A uh, was pretty rough for being the desert loop, we feel, uh, but did okay. And the Lawrence picked up our exact route, so that's great. Um, and then we got to lap B, truck did great climbing everything, did rock face. Uh, we chose not to do Hell's Gate, but we'll see. I mean, if somebody's broken and on the waterfall, the, the other option there, there's a bunch of either oars. We generally stayed on the course on the either oars, except for that one. Um, but, I mean, truck worked great, so... Then when we're on roller coaster, which is kind of, I'd say, the last quarter of lap B, we started to get some uh, cutting out from the engine. So kind of felt like a, felt like gas was running out, but, but it wasn't. So Donnie turned it off, reset it, turned it back on. Sometimes it would run great, and other times it would start up acting up right away so we uh, don't have any codes popping up on it but 
not sure. So we qualified yesterday and um, it ran great. So we're just gonna go with that. Contingency plan is if it starts cutting out again, we're trying going to try to disconnect the O2 sensor and hope for the best. <laughs> but uh, all right, I'm just gonna show you around the truck a little bit. We got the Lawrence in there. I'm gonna run that this time. This is my first time using Lawrence. I liked it a lot better than Lead Nav just for uh, not having the touch screen. A little bit easier to, to be accurate. We've got one spare. We didn't cut any tires on the... I have my 24s and my tool bag. Oh, I thought he was talking to me. Uh, we've got a one spare. Of course, it's really rough for tires. We think it's going to be a tire game. Um, but we'll have to see. Just be smart and look out for rocks and all that. Do you want to talk more about the issues that you're having yesterday? I was talking about how it was cutting out, but you said something about a lean... Yeah, I mean, basically, I, I, I think what it was, was uh, it, it felt like a, a, a fuel pump going out, cutting in and out, but we checked the fuel pressure, and we had solid pressure, so that means that the computer, uh, seeing a, a, a rich condition and pulling fuel out for whatever reason, uh, it may be the O2 sensor, but we checked it multiple times, and we couldn't, it looked like it was working normally, so... I mean, it's possible we have bad gas. Uh, there's just no real red flags. So, and then ran, it. ran fine in the uh, yeah, yeah. And I mean, we had all the RPM, but not that, not that it did a whole lot. But <laughs> I mean, well, the motor's running. tired. We know that. But uh, I'll show you the fix from when uh, I tore it apart on at a AO, um, West Virginia. I'm sorry, not AOP. So Brandon from Lone Star Fab went ahead and reinforced this, made new, gusted it all, because uh, I ripped that right off there. Likely, after I uh, cut this front driver tire and uh, didn't realize and rode on it for about 20 minutes, likely the there was some stress there. <laughs> but yeah, so that's where we're at right now. Race morning, it's about... 41 degrees, <laughs> feels like 37 here in Davis, Oklahoma, getting ready for Ultra 4 Nationals. Watch us live. Bye.
Yeah, on five. guys so yeah great race <laughs> broke down again as usual we uh um we actually we were going pretty good at first but then uh we actually had a transmission uh quarter line come out of the uh out of the transmission and maybe a little bit of fire or something it was a lot of smoke but we got out in a hurry and we figured out what it was and i was able to push in the uh uh, the bedding and take a bunch of zip ties because it's like a little plastic deal and that broke so 
we put a bunch of zip ties on it and it was just kind of barely dripping so it was good enough we also lost four wheel drive again this time the all thread on the Izzy uh, shifter came apart so we did pretty much uh, the whole A loop and two wheel drive and smoking and came around went through the short course and we they... had comms though so that was good so we had our our pit was ready with yep the, yeah yeah, so we came around, we decided since we didn't have the option to be able to shift inside the car, we locked it in four-wheel drive, which was painfully slow because we, we have a 4 to one transfer case in the car. So I was in like fourth gear, like 5,000 RPM. We were Zero doing like, 20. Yeah, 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 so we, uh, so we got to basically right there in that water puddle <laughs> and it was a big cloud of smoke and it just uh i mean we made the waterfall bypass from um devil's hell's gate, hell's gate. yep then we made we did rock wall R rock face rock face yeah yeah had no problem did with all that. that we're like on our we did the the goats trip trot thing whatever and then like this puddle yeah yeah <laughs> it, we, oh, we were smoking pretty someone. heavily here comes another car So that's kind of the story of our life. Is uh, we just and we had a flat tire. Yeah, we already changed it out. Alex is super excited. She thought I cut a tire. I've yet to have cut a tire in two years. Yeah. Two years. First year you did. Yeah. Two years. Yeah. Very, yeah. That's, Thanks, Maxis. That's, that's 2018. Nobody cares about that. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll show you what happened there. We actually the uh, uh, so. This was actually the spare that we um, put on after, no, was it? No, it wasn't, it was a different, uh, this is a, a tire that's been on, on the truck for a while, but you can see here, we, uh, we lost some, uh, some bolts in there. So, I didn't uh, apparently do my uh, due diligence and- uh, We did, we torqued them. Well, not recently though, so. True. And this is a lot rougher than we've, uh, been racing. It was a rough race. We were bouncing like freaking rag dolls in this thing. But it was running good for a while. So. I was doing my best uh, watching yeah. out behind us. Yeah. But yeah. we did. Yeah. No, she did great. She really did. And we, uh, I know, uh, also, big shout out to uh, Tyler. Without him, he actually uh, blew up his transmission, he thinks. Uh, so he actually gave us a gallon of uh, ATF, and that got us back to the pit. And otherwise, we would have been broke as well, right there with him. So, bad news for him. We also passed uh, John Snell. Uh, I think it was before Rockface, yeah. right? Yeah. So he was back there away. It looked like he uh, tires off, or yeah, okay. yeah, he looked like he broke a rear axle or something. That's what it looked like. But um, we've seen. Uh, I know the race is pretty much over now. We saw. Uh, Josh Atterbury with the uh, the green and blue uh, DJ in first, so congrats to him. And then John Schaefer in second in the orange JK. It's going to be pretty interesting to see how the points play out. Because uh, right now, I believe Schaefer is either first or second. So it's going to be super close. It'll be cool. Hopefully we get to get back before like dark and like all that kind it's of good stuff. It's pretty cold. Yeah, it's going to get cold. <laughs> Anyway, that's it for now. Wait, you didn't talk about us getting nerfed. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> First nerf. Yeah. I was looking, but it, they just come up so fast. And was it a 48 or a 45? Oh, uh, the 4800 car. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it was just fast and it's very windy back here. So my bad, but thanks for being gentle. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was just like, boom. I was like, what was that? And then you did again, boom. I was like, oh, I'm getting nerfed. Okay, uh -huh. get over, so. <laughs> Anyway, oh, and a uh, big thanks to Cody St. Clair and the 4500 car. Uh, we actually, we were stuck in that uh, water puddle and she got out, out of the car and ran down and he came up behind us and basically just pushed us all the way up here yeah, to where we, we are. Went, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We could have went, but it would have been a while. There would have been a lot of angry people. So, <laughs> all right, guys, I think that's it. Thanks for watching.